All right, hello everybody. This is um, Stickmaster Luke. I'm gonna show you the super basics right now of just how to get into scripting and make it so you can start scripting for those of you who have no idea what you're doing. Um, if you have Roblox, okay, first you're gonna need Roblox Studio. And if you're able to play games on Roblox, then you have Roblox Studio somewhere on your computer. Um, mine's just in the start because I use it so much, but um, it's somewhere on your computer. I'm sure you can find it. Just Roblox Studio. After you uh, open up Roblox Studio, you have kind of like an internet browser, but only for Roblox. First, go to your profile. Log in if you're not. Go to your profile, then find one of your games that you want to work in. Um, go in edit mode for super basics. All my work, all my building, scripting, everything is always done in edit mode. Well, there's three different kinds of... You can only do edit mode while you have Roblox Studio. That's why I open up Roblox Studio. Um, basically, play mode is just when you're playing online with friends and you're in a server. Build mode is when um, you're just building by yourself and you're not in a server. And then edit mode is when you're not in a server and you're building by yourself, but you you don't have a character and the game's not running. Everything's just kind of like paused. Um, I'll show you. So basically, right here you can see um, pause, run, reset, and all this, whatever. That's because the game is actually paused while you're in edit mode. Um, yeah, and so when it's paused, it's a lot easier to build because unanchored parts don't move. Um, and you don't have a character, though. Um, if you're a beginner, usually it's hard on people because they're used to having a character. You don't have a character. You can right click to move your camera around and I uh, use the arrow keys WASD or the arrow keys, I use WASD but um, you can use those to move your camera forward and backward um, so basically this is your game um, right here is Explorer if you don't have Explorer open you can go to Windows wait, let's see view then Explorer um, same with Properties box, you're going to need Explorers, Explorer, Properties box, Output, um, I think that's it, Explorer, Properties, Output, and I can explain them all to you. Explorer is um, kind of like, hmm, it's just, it's everything inside the game is all in a hierarchy, and you can easily see everything um, right here we have the camera which is the camera that I'm like able to look around with every character has a camera in game just ignore those base would be the base plate the big green brick that you see and I don't know what message is some Roblox update um, then we have the players whenever you're playing online the players gets full of players lighting is um, you can edit it and uh, edit all these properties to make the lighting and lighting effects in game look different you can make it darker, a different color, change where the sun is in the sky, make it nighttime, all that stuff. Star GUI is for GUI. Um, basically, if you're making uh, any any two-dimensional drawings that will be on players' like players' screens, um, you'll put in the GUI. It's um, like this black stuff that you see at the bottom, um, the leave and all these buttons. That's GUI made by Roblox. You can't remove it, but it that's GUI right there. Anything that goes on the screen is GUI. Um, starter pack is anything that is in starter pack will be put into players backpacks. So if you want to put a weapon in starter pack, you just drag it in there or whatever and then save your place. And um, whenever anyone goes to play your place, every time they spawn, they'll get what is in starter pack. So if you put a sword in there, every time they spawn, they'll have a sword. Um, I can show you how to do that really quickly. <clears throat> Let's see. Tools and weapons. Hammer, I guess. It doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, it puts it in starter pack for you. But if you don't put it in starter pack, let's say no, and it puts it into the game. You can see right here is the sword. Um, you can select it and you can see it it's in workspace workspace is everything that's physically visible in game everything that you see everything that's 
running and being collided with and yeah so the sword is in game I mean you could walk over and pick it up that'd be it but if you want players uh, every time they respawn you want them to have it drag it down in here into starter pack now it's in starter pack and you can see these little plus symbols that shows you everything that's inside of it inside its hierarchy what's yeah what's inside of it um, so yeah so when a player enters the place they'd have ice hammer and this is our rock whatever that is I'm just gonna delete those because unnecessary now um, yeah and then properties box that was explorer now we're going to the properties box it could be somewhere else I'm sure you can drag it around let's see yeah now it's free about like it there get in there there you go um, properties box if you click on something in game like I clicked on the base plate which would be this big green base plate now I have it selected and now it's in my properties box I can look at all the properties of it um, brick color is dark green. I could change that to, I don't know, sand. That's really bright. Um, yeah, I can change it to like a sand look or, I don't know, whatever you want. I like dark green. Um, you can change the material. I don't have materials on, so you won't be able to see it. But, okay, you can change the material, reflectancy, make it look reflective. 0.5. Now it's kind of shiny. 0.1, I think all you see is the sky. Yeah. Um, you can make it transparent, which, like, you can see through it. Um, 0.5. It goes from 0 to 0.5 for all of these. So, yeah, you can kind of see through it, and you can see the clouds um, through it. Put that back at 0, which means it's not transparent. You can change its name just for the hierarchy, and when you're scripting, you usually refer to stuff by their name. So you can just change the name, just base, 2, 3, 4. You can change its position. Um if you want to be somewhere else, if you don't want to drag it, if you want to make sure it's exactly at its spot. Rotational velocity, velocity, that's for moving parts. Um, anchored, anchored means it will not move, it is locked in place in game. It will not move at all, um, unless you change its position. But it will not just like fall, mainly gravity does not affect it. Um, can collide means that stuff will collide with it, stuff will run into it, stuff will bounce off of it, um, just stuff will hit it. Um, locked means that you cannot click it to select it in game. I can normally if I create a box around something it will select it or if I click it it will select it but it's not being selected. The only way to select it is by going into workspace. That's what locked is and that's useful for a lot of tools like dragging tools if you want a building game. Here's its size, its shape, you can mess around with all these properties. Friction and elasticity. Elasticity is bounciness and friction is how slidey it is, I guess you could say. No one really messes with these, but I guess if you want to make like ice, then you could make less friction, like zero friction. Players would slide it a little bit and everything would slide. Um, ignore these, I don't think anyone uses these anymore. It's for like, yeah, no one uses them anymore. Um, surfaces, the top is studs, you can change it to like smooth and now you can see it's all smooth. Put it back on studs, that looks nice. Um, or if you want, I don't know, if you want to have a little bit more texture to it, you could use universal. I usually do that, I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, I like variety and spread out more. But, so this looks good for now. Um, you can change that for all the different sides, because there's different sides to every brick. So that's the properties box. Everything, you sh stuff has different properties some you can't change um, the lighting has properties that you can change all the time of day and stuff starter pack let's see so yeah basically every a lot of things have properties um, there's a bunch of different classes and everything usually has different properties um, let's see now how to put scripts into your game and how to edit them click on workspace or wherever you want the script to be. I want to be in workspace. I'm going to select workspace. That's what it's going to be under. I'm going to go to insert object. Now this window comes up and there's all these different things that you can put into workspace. Um, we're just going to go to script. It's already selected but yeah select it and then click OK. And Now you can see it put a new script into our workspace. Scripts aren't visible so you won't be able to see it in game you'll only be able to see in the hierarchy in workspace so you double click that Basic, well yeah to double click or to go into it you just double click it that's how you look at scripts added a couple lines there 
always put my name in my scripts. Um, and then to if you just click this X right here, you can see the script. You just go over here, click the X. When you do that, it automatically saves. Just any time you change any, like whenever you type into it, that's saving. Um, for when you close it. Um, if the game is running, right now it's not, but if it were running, let's see, now it is. Now that it's running, and I edit the script, the script will not be, will not change, let's say, I don't know. But if the script is running right now, or it ran, but it's it's working, the only way, if I were to edit it, add stuff to it, I'd have to, and I want to see the new results, I have to right click, cut, and paste it back into the workspace and then that would start it running again from whatever updates you just made um, you don't need to do that if you're just in pause all the time and then you save when you're done it's, so if you want to save like say you work on a script script some stuff you close it um, just to save it to your game you just close and ask if you want to save I don't want to save but if I wanted to I'd click save right there and um, those are the very basics and basically build mode is just the same exact thing and you still have all this but you have a character and the game is currently running and so when the game's running like I said parts are moving around and um, I can move around characters can move around you won't have a character in edit mode only in um, solo and play that concludes uh, Roblox super basics tutorial Thank you for watching and keep an eye out for more because more helpful videos will be on their way.